welcome to another session in our educational series dealing with SonicWall firewalls. Today I'll be discussing how to register one of the new NSA boxes. These are the new units running OS Enhanced 5.0. In a separate video, I actually covered the registration process of actually registering the unit on MySonicWall.com. So what this video will be covering is specific to the NSA series, where we're going to take the information from MySonicWall.com and actually give it to the unit, so the unit is aware of what licenses you have and what you don't. To begin, go ahead and pull up MySonicWall.com and go ahead and log in. Alright, after logging in, you'll hit the My Products page, where you will see a full list of all the units in that account. Now, because I have customer units in this account, uh, I'm not able to actually pull that up. But after loading the My Products page, you'll get the full list of all your units, and each will be a hyperlink, and you just want to click the one for the unit that we just registered that we're working on. Now from here, once you've pulled up that unit, you'll need to copy the registration code down. And we'll actually go ahead and log into the unit. Now of course the unit does have to be online at this point. Again, that's covered in a separate video. But once we log in, go to the system status menu, if that's not what comes up by default. And just scroll down to the lower right, and you'll have a box here to give it the registration code. Now this is the first half of the registration process. You need to do this before you're actually able to upload a new firmware, such as updating the box. So now that we've given the registration code, we do need to restart the unit. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, now that the unit has been rebooted, I'm going to log back in here with admin for the username and password for the password. So those are still default. Now, you may see this screen where it's asking for a registration update, or if you go back to the system status menu that we were on a moment ago and go to the place where we gave it the uh, registration code, you'll now have a link that says go ahead and update your registration. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and hit update now. And this is actually going to ask for your MySonicWall.com username and password. And this will actually synchronize the unit with MySonicWall. So any services that you have here. So you can see here we have, as you can see here, we have a couple of different licenses for this box. And by providing this information, we'll actually sync the unit to MySonicWall so it has a real-time snapshot of what licenses you have. And that will actually update on a regular basis. So anything that expires or anything that you buy new will automatically be reflected in the unit. So I'm just going to go ahead and give the credentials here. All right, after submitting the credentials, I'm just going to hit continue here. And now we can go to the system status menu and look on the right side and we actually have a quick snapshot of the license status. We can actually also go to the system licenses menu and this will give us a more complete view uh, dealing with how many uh, clients we have for certain things, expiration dates and all that. And at the bottom we can tell it to synchronize so if you just bought any licenses and you want to force the unit to update you can hit this. Or if you want to activate or renew services or activate any free trials both those links are down here as well. Also, you have a manual key upgrade, which you almost never use. Basically, this is just for if the unit isn't online and you never plan to have it online, you can give the, the key here so it still knows the registration information. But now with the unit registered with MySonicWall.com, we actually have the ability to go and configure the security services. So as you see here, once the unit is online, the registration process is pretty straightforward. Of course, if you've never done it before, there are a few steps, so there's a bit of a learning curve. But if you ever run into any trouble and would like some assistance, please don't hesitate to give our technical sales group a call at 866-469-9255. <laughs>